Hi, um, my name is Pat Hotterkunkan, and today I would like to um, show you my interpretation of noisy spectrum of this alanine valine proline triptide. Okay, so on the left hand side, you see that I already have the blank um, noisy spectra with um, diagonal peaks already labeled and also the proton NMR for this specific tripeptide um, on both axes, right? On the right-hand side, I, already, I have um, the tripeptide, the structure of the tripeptide with colored labeling, which correspond to the proton spectra on the left-hand side. Okay, so, well, First of all, we would like I we, well I should say what NOC is in general. So NOC is an NMR techniques, a two-dimensional NMR techniques, which um, is used to determine the through space interaction between protons. Well, between nearby protons to be more precise. Okay, so for this specific uh, arrangement of alanine, valine, and proline. It will give unique uh, noisy spectra compared to another possibilities or another arrangement of these three amino acids. Okay, so first we'll focus on this NH peak. Okay, so this pro NH proton correspond to this um, doublet you see on the down view of the proton spectrum. Then. If we excite this proton, we can see the interaction between this proton and this methyl of alanine. Okay, and this methyl of alanine is actually this one. Um, right? No, it's actually this one. This is three. Okay, and this will gives us this peak. So it's here. And therefore, it will be these two spots. Okay, this is the first interaction. However, um, another um, interactions are also possible. For example, this NH with um, this alpha proton, which in this case, the alpha proton will be found here for alanine. So you will get. Um, this NH, right, to alpha proton. So you get these um, interactions. And then, moreover, you also see this interaction with this methyl and this um, proton here, which corresponds to, um, well, it is this methyl and this um, CH, which means that you get this and this peak. And also this one for the CH, right? Okay, that is it for the NH, well, this um, valine NH. But then another possibilities are uh, another interactions are also possible to be um, found. For example, um, for example, should we change the color? Okay, we can change. For example, for this, um, well, for proline, I would say, proline itself can also have noisy interaction within, right? So within, you can see the um, interaction with, between this methyl and the alpha proton, which will give, um, well, the methyl is actually this one, and the alpha proton is this one. Okay, so you'll see these two spots. But that doesn't tell, well, that information doesn't tell us where it is located at, right? So instead, we can focus on this interaction between this CH2 or this um, meth 
methylene protons and this CH3 which corresponds well the CH3 is this one of course and the methylene proton is actually this one which gives us these two spots on the spectrum well also of course you can you might be able to see these two too right which will give you the well we start off with this methylene protons and we end up with this um, with this um, sextet, septet, sorry. So you see these interactions too. Okay, apart from that, you can also see, well, further, you can also see the interaction within the molecules, but still through space, right? Something like this, which is a bit um, confusing, but you see that it corresponds well the same the same methylene can see both the alpha proton and the proton nearby right so this same methylene here can see the alpha proton which is this one and the proton nearby which is supposed to be this one Okay, apart from that, um, the alpha proton itself can also see this methylene, okay? So the alpha proton is this one, can see this methylene, giving the rise of these two um, extra spots. Let's see. Well, if we rotate, right, if we rotate this bond, we can also get this interaction between this, pro, this alpha proton of proline and this methyl proton of valine, right? So the alpha proton and the methyl proton of valine is actually this one, okay. And of course, if it can see the alpha proton, it can also see this um, nearby pr proton. Right. So the alpha proton, again, can see these nearby protons, which is the septet here. And before we forget, um, of course, if we rotate it to another way, this, <clears throat> this methyl can also see both of them, right? Which means that this methyl can see that methyl is the red one, can see both the septet Accepted and this um, doublet. Okay, that's cool. Well, that might be quite confusing right now, but we still have some more interactions to go through, which I'll use which color? Um, well, I can use pink. For this um, alpha proton, it can see, it might be able to see either this methylene or this alpha proton or possibly also this methyl, right? So first, this um, alpha proton is actually this one. This alpha proton is alpha, and this alpha proton, as I've already mentioned, will is possibly to see this um, 
what is it this uh, methylene here so first two spots and then it can also see this um, alpha proton of proline right so the alpha proton of proline is actually this one right Another two spots. And lastly, you can see the methyl group here. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, and I believe that is it for today, right? Well, actually, I have one last interaction, which is from this methyl to this methylene okay so from that methyl which is this one right that methyl right yep it is to that specific um kind of doublet will be this one and you'll get these interactions also. Okay, yeah, and that's it for today. And just to clear things up, I will just delete, um, erase those um, squares I've met. Um, yeah, and this is my interpretation of the of the tripeptide alanine, valine, and proline. So hope you enjoy that. Thanks.